this question, we have two parameterized equations and we have, there's three variables, x, y, and t. What we need to do is turn these two equations into a single equation with only x and y. So we need to eliminate t. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, there's two ways to do it. We can use substitution or elimination. I'm going to use substitution. We're going to solve for t in this equation, and then we'll plug it in where we see t in the other equation. The reason I don't want to solve for t here is because it's squared. So our very last step, we're going to have t squared equals some stuff, and then to solve for it, we're going to have t equals plus or minus whatever we got on the previous step. And that plus or minus is what we don't want. So that's why we're going to solve for t down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm not going to write the y of t, I'm just going to write the y. The of t notation just tells you that y depends on t, and y is 3 plus 2t. We're going to solve for t, subtract 3, and now we have 2 times t, so unmultiply or divide by 2. I'm going to multiply by a half. And we can distribute that or just leave it like this. Uh, this is fine right here. So now we're going to plug this into the other equation, which is, now it's just x equals negative 2t squared. And we have to very carefully plug what we just got in where we see t. So we have to put all the 1 half times y minus 3, all of that stuff squared. Now we're going to square it. So we square the 1 half, they're multiplied together, and then square the y minus 3. And from here, this 1 half squared is 1 quarter, so we have negative 2 times 1 fourth. If I square the min y minus 3, to make sure you foil it, you're going to get y squared minus 3y minus 3y, which is minus 6y. Negative 3, negative 3 is positive 9. And from here you can do a little cancellation, but there's really not much we can simplify this to. So here we have, and on the left side I stopped writing it because it didn't change, but we have an equation, two variables, and only x and y. We've eliminated t. So you can stop right here.